Hey everyone, Danny Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and this is a software tour of the HTC Arrive running on Sprint's network. And this is the very first CDMA phone to run Windows Phone 7, and it's also the very first Windows Phone 7 device to have the Nodo update. So let's get started. The HTC Arrive is running the latest version of Windows Phone 7 at, let's see here, go down to about information, I believe it's 7.0.7389.0. So that's the latest version with the Nodo update which allows for copy and paste and we also have a couple of marketplace enhancements for their search feature. Unfortunately I wasn't able to see much difference. We'll just go back. One of the best things about Windows Phone 7 is the ability to change the theme because having a dark theme on a Super AMOLED or AMOLED display does save power, but it doesn't make much sense on an LCD, so I'm going to change it to light because I think it's probably easier to see on camera. And just go back. You can also change some of the other system settings here, or we can also go to our application settings. So one of the best things that Sprint didn't do was to add too much proprietary software to the Arrive. And the only thing that they've added is the Sprint Zone and the Telenav GPS navigation. So the Telenav is a full version, turn-by-turn -turn navigation program, and I'll show you that in just a second, and you don't even have to pay for it. There is a premium service, which is $4.99, but you don't really need it. So on this app, the Sprint Zone, we do have phone tips and tricks. We have suggested apps, so you can get the Sprint TV and Movie if you want to. You can also get these other applications, um, but you don't need to have these. Luckily, they didn't require you to have these on your device. A lot of other phones out there that are running Windows Phone 7 do have required proprietary software, and it's nice that the Arrive doesn't have that. We have these other tiles right here, which pretty much just link you to uh, Sprint websites, and we can also pay our bill directly from the app. Another thing that's nice about Windows Phone 7 is that each of the default apps is very cohesive from one device to another. For the alarm, the calculator, calendar, or you can download your own from the marketplace, of course. We can go into the camera here, and we have the same software on every single device for this running Windows Phone 7. So we can just go here and view our settings if we like and change our flash mode if we want and we're at resolution. So we'll just go back. We can go to our Xbox Live account from this uh, app right here. We can go to Xbox Live Games, which is really nice that Windows Phone 7 does uh, folder these applications into a games folder. We can get our email or Google Mail, which I've set up already, our HTC Hub, and this app allows you to view your current forecast just by clicking up here, and it's a pretty simple application. We can view a four-day forecast. If you just go up or down, we can view other cities, so it looks like it's 46 degrees in Paris and we'll just go back to the HTC Hub home page and I can also go over here and that just shows me some featured applications that HTC has which are usually always free so we can just go back home and go over here we can go to Internet Explorer in just a second we can go to our Bing Maps Bing Maps on Windows Phone 7 does give you turn-by-turn -turn directions and it does track your progress on your route uh, unlike the Google Maps on the iPhone, for some reason it just doesn't give you turn-by-turn -turn directions, it just shows you the steps to get there. So we can go back, because we've probably all seen this before, we can go to our marketplace, and it said in the Nodo update that this has been optimized for a marketplace search, but if I search for something it really doesn't change, let's say if I wanted to search for green or something like that, it still brings up a whole bunch of Zune apps, uh, Zune songs, what I should say, Zune media, and uh, it does bring a couple apps, but not too much, so we can just go back. We can go to our messaging, we can go to our music and videos, which is uh, pretty much the exact same on every single Windows on 7 device. Our office, we can go to people, which is linked up with our Google or Facebook accounts. We can go to photo enhancer, which is an HTC application, so we can change a photo. Let's see here, what do we have on this device? Not too much. Let's go here. We can add some of these uh, effects at the top, so let's try the twilight effect. It changed it to something purple. Uh, maybe that's from the movies, I have no idea. So we'll just go back home, and go back over here, we can go to settings which we've already seen, sound enhancer, this device does have SRS enhancement, so we can add that if we'd like. We can also change it to an equalizer if we had headset plugged in. can also add SRS enhancements to the videos, so we'll just go back. And uh, the last thing I'm probably going to show you before I go to the Telenav GPS nav is the stocks. And if I open up the arrive, I can view the full stock 
report. So let's just go here and swipe up and go down to go to each stock and we can also change the uh, duration that the graph is going to show. So we can add our own if we want just by going to here and we can add our own stocks. So let's go to the Telenav GPS navigation because that's a pretty cool application and it's nice that it was included for free on this on this device. So let's say that I want to drive somewhere. Let's say I wanted to drive to Seattle. All I have to do is click on there, which I've already started my route. So it'll get route information and it will also speak to me the road names and street names and uh, turn by turn directions and all the other great stuff. Okay, so there we go. And the premium service, I believe that it just adds some voice enhancements or whatnot. And let's go to Internet Explorer and I'll show you how we can copy and paste on a page. So here we are on Pocketnow's webpage and I'm on the desktop version. So all I have to do is click on, click on a word and scroll over and just click here on the little copy button. Go back home. Let's say we wanted to add this to a Word document. So we'll go into Office and we'll say New Document. We'll go to a Word document and we'll just click no here for a previous document that I have. All I have to do is click on here and it's pasted from the clipboard directly onto my uh, device. So let's just go back. I'll show you how it works in messaging and some things it doesn't work very great in. So from here I can type a message, hey YouTubers. And then if I want to select this word, all I have to do is click on here and hit copy and that's pretty much it. Just copy and paste. And now I can just go here and paste it and go here again. Let's see, will it keep copying and pasting? I guess not. So once you've added it from the clipboard, it disappears. So uh, that's a little surprising. It would be nice if you could copy it multiple times. But uh, we'll see what the other updates in the future have. So this has been the software tour of the HTC Arrive running on Sprint's network. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also leave some comments down below. To view the unboxing, click on the link right about here and to view the hardware tour right about here. And check out pocketnow.com for the final review. Thanks for watching.